So when we're safe, um, we're going to face forward. Why do you think we do that? You might bump into somebody and we've got big long lines and people are going to fall down, right? Kaboom! And that wouldn't be so good for our, um, being safe. What else? When we come in, we need to come in how? Safely and quietly and quickly. And we only have so much time for assemblies and it's a big production to get everybody in. So we come in facing forward. Everyone uh, comes in quickly. And the last safety issue is how do we sit in the assembly? We sit on our pockets, right? So that means that we're not standing up so much. And I don't really see fifth graders standing up a lot, but sometimes our first and second graders want to stand. And I know how much fun that is, but for everyone to be safe, we need to sit on our pockets, okay? So what does safe look like when we come in the cafeteria? Yeah. Not running. We're not going to run when we're coming into the cafeteria. Um, what else does safe look like when we come in the cafeteria? Sit at the table appropriately and do we throw food? No. Never. Okay, if you throw food, what do you think a consequence might be? Picking your the messy mate. You might be helping to clean up the cafeteria. Okay, so if you make a mess, the logical consequence is you get to clean up. So do not throw food, and if it continues, then you would, might be spending a little time eating your lunch in the office, and you might not have recess. What about uh, talking when you have a bunch of food in your mouth? Is that safe? No. No, and it's not safe because you could do what? Choke. You could choke, okay. and you eat your food. You go outside, you have half an hour outside, 20 minutes, half an hour, that's where you play and you talk and you yell, but you don't do that in here, okay? So when we're uh, looking at respectful, what does that look like in the auditorium when we have an assembly? What does respectful look like? Yes, we pay attention to the people who are talking. That means we listen and we clap appropriately. Do we go boo? No, because a lot of times people who are talking to us are donating their time. Sometimes I've paid for an assembly, but they're here to be nice to you, to share something special, and if you're not appropriate, do they want to come back? No. And last year I was very proud of our Falcons because many of our presenters told us they'd love to come to Sprucewood because our students are well behaved. Okay, so going back again, when we're in the cafeteria, what kind of voice should you use? How big? Oh, not even 10 inch, about six inch. Okay, so the, does that mean I'm talking like this? No. no, it means I'm talking like this, okay? We're being quiet because the purpose of being in here is to eat your food. What else is respectful when we're in here? Uh, you want to throw your garbage away and what do you do with your hands, your feet, and your arms at all times? Yep. Keep your hands, feet, and arms to yourself, right? Okay, um, being responsible. We kind of touched on this before in the cafeteria, what does being responsible look like? Pick up after yourself. Your mama doesn't live here. And even at home, you should be picking af up after yourself, right? Okay, because um, it's a hard job to make sure everybody gets fed. 500 people are eating lunch. And last year, I said talking could come back. I know the year before it was taken away. So I'm asking you to keep talking in place. And that means cleaning up after yourself and being respectful and keep your hands, feet, and arms to yourself. And if somebody forgets, what do you think you could do as a superhero? If somebody forgets to pick something up, what would be a nice thing to do? Tell them to pick it up. Tell them to pick it up, but they might already be outside. What would be a nice thing to do? Just grab it and throw it away, right? So we are all responsible for keeping the cafeteria clean and neat. When we're being responsible in the gym, what do we need to do before we come in? 
What needs to get done before we come into the auditorium for an assembly? Use the restroom and get a drink before you come in. Okay? Because we don't need to have a bunch of people up and moving all over the place. And you guys need to model that especially, right? Teachers, could you model and show us what you don't do when you come into the cafeteria? What would be something you don't do? with what they're doing Everything. they're yelling what else are they doing Judd throwing forks. throwing forks what else are they doing they're running. they're running they're doing are they doing anything right no, no. So, who would like to show us what they should do when they come into the cafeteria? What did they do right? Yes, take. They walked in. What else did they do right? They were what? They didn't throw anything. What else did they do right? They weren't talking. They weren't talking. Fifth grade, you're awesome. Would you